Okay guys, this is an exciting moment. We are right now embarking on our first ever EV road trip in the F-150 Lightning. This is a standard range model, which means we technically have 240 miles at our disposal. I haven't planned any legs of our trip that will be close to 240 miles. We have four charging stops planned for today, including one in the charging desert known as West Virginia. Ooh. There's a chance that this goes off without a hitch and we make it to Cary, North Carolina in one piece today. There's four chances for things to go wrong. Our first stop is 151 miles away, according to Android Auto. Gallipolis, Ohio. It's only a 60 kilowatt charger, so we're not gonna be super fast charging here. I'm just hoping that the plugs are functioning and not occupied. This is the start of a, an exciting journey. So thanks for coming along, fingers crossed. Okay guys, nervy moments as we pull into the charge point charger in Gallipolis, Ohio. Uh, nobody here, but one of the two chargers reads unavailable. So this is where the range anxiety becomes real. Luckily we pulled in, there's nobody else here. I'm gonna try to plug in and we'll see if we hit any snags. Took a couple extra minutes because I had to download the app, add a card. One interesting thing about this station that I ended up using is that it thinks it has a touch screen, but it doesn't. So I think I could have limped along without downloading the app, but the station thinks it has a touch screen. So I downloaded the app, added my credit card, and then just did NFC tap and it prompted me to plug in and it's charging. Thus far, a positive experience. My next anticipated charging stop, old school paper map, thanks pops, is only 56 miles away. So I don't have to stay here long, but I'm nervous about our next charging stop. So I might give myself a little bit of a buffer. Doesn't say that it's charged me any money yet, but I don't see a speed. So let me see if the Ford Pass app gives me a speed. Okay, I'm launching the Ford Pass app. I'll have mentioned this in other videos, but it always takes about 10 seconds. Whoa, no. There we go. It always takes 10 seconds to refresh the app, so it gives you a lot of information that's incorrect when you first open it. Then when you refresh, I just, I wish it would refresh automatically. It says that if we want to charge to 100%, it would take us until 10.54 a.m., which is about two hours from now. We're not going to charge to 100%. Oh, target charge level 90%. Estimated finish time 10.18. So that's interesting. Uh, it says we're getting a charge rate of 50 kilowatts, which is fine. We're still in the ballpark of what we're supposed to be getting. So I think everything's going swimmingly enough that I feel confident locking the car, walking away, and grabbing a bite to eat. So I will check in with you later. You join us from beautiful Gallipolis, Ohio, where we have just initiated the first of four charging stops today on our road trip to North Carolina. you join me from beautiful South Charleston, West Virginia, where I'm at the famous Joe Holland Hyundai Charge Point Chargers. There are two plugs in this parking lot, and they're plugs that a lot of us rely on to get through the state of West Virginia, so hopefully they're working. Luckily, today, they are. I am reporting a positive check-in from South Charleston, West Virginia. I will see you at our next charging stop. Okay, I've got to download the app. I always try to just limp along with a credit card without downloading the app just to see if that's an option. It does not appear to be an option. Circle K. There's a QR code, but I hate QR codes. Circle K, charge USA. Great. Install. At the start of the day, I thought that this road trip would be easy peasy because you get longer stops to stretch your legs, but it does take a toll. Keeping track of your remaining range, how far you are from your destination, I'm noticing the difference. Wytheville to uh, B. Connect and swipe to start. Connect cable, swipe to charge. Virginia is for lovers and charging is for me here at the Circle K charger in Wytheville, Virginia. Advertise speed of 180 kilowatts. We started around 130 and unfortunately we've settled in right at 105. However, this is the fastest charging we've experienced today, so I'm thrilled that I get to continue my journey to North Carolina. We've hit my first riddle of the day. We are now trickle charging at a rate of nine kilowatts here at the Circle K in Wytheville. 
started a lot faster. Obviously it's bottlenecking because we're over 80%. So the question is, I, I'm 183 miles from my destination. I have 183 miles of range. Um, so I could leave and hope that I have enough to get to my hotel. Or we could stop halfway in Greensboro at an Electrify America station and hopefully top off, top up there, about halfway. Based on all of the YouTube videos and preparation, it's like, Joseph, you've been preparing for this moment for two years. You, you should know what to do. I think common sense is telling me I should unplug here, drive to Greensboro, which is on the way, and then charge in Greensboro because we'll get faster charging speeds if that station is functioning, which is a big roll of the dice. Let's just do it. We're gonna unplug because sitting here at nine kilowatts, it's not like I'm holding up any other EVs that need to charge, but it's like watching paint dry. I wanna feel proactive. I'm gonna start towards my destination again, knowing that I hopefully have a station at the halfway point. So there's your update from Wytheville, Virginia. Hopefully I'm checking in with you in Greensboro, North Carolina at a functioning Electrify America station in one hour and 46 minutes. Lightning officially strikes twice at the Electrify America charger here in Greensboro, North Carolina. This has been my best charge of the day. It's been the fastest speed. It's been the closest to the advertised speed. Uh, I'm getting 140 kilowatts right now, advertised 150. So hugely positive charge here, checking in from Electrify America. We just finished up our last charge of the day here in Greensboro, North Carolina. So that got me, I mean, it was incredible from 50 to 90% in 30 minutes. And I know that's not lightning fast speeds, but it was the fastest we saw today. And it was perfect for a top off to make sure we've got enough to get to our destination. So I have to give a positive shout out to Electrify America there. Worked on the first try. Um, right when I plugged it in. So now we are off to Cary, North Carolina, which is where we've been headed this whole time. Uh, just wanted to be sure to check in after that charging stop. And uh, now we're on our way, one hour to go. You join us in the welcome green glow of an Electrify America charger here in Cary, North Carolina. Initiating charging worked on the first try. We are only getting 100 kilowatts, but again, that's the fastest charging we've seen all day after being at charge point and Circle K. So reporting a positive check-in, all stalls appear to be functioning here in Cary, North Carolina, signing off for today. Thanks guys.